What is going on YouTube? Jimmy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. I'm back with another bit of a tutorial kind of video because a lot of people seem to be requesting this. A lot of questions are in the air. A lot of you guys want to know how do I get this? How do I get that? How do I get Ken Griffey Jr.? Do these rookie cards mean anything? There are so many questions and I'm going to try to answer as many of them as possible in this one video. If not, I will stretch it out. But first and foremost, there's a lot of new stuff and there's a lot of stuff that's returned. And we have the same missions we had before. Well, not the same missions, but we have missions just like we did uh, before. And they're categorized a little bit different. We have starter missions, collect, daily missions, time limited, exchange, diamond program, which is part of the program, dynasty program. Archer Program, Team Epics, Player Epics, Player Spotlight, My Career, Rank Season, Battle Royale, Events, Conquest, Versus, CPU, and Friendlies. When I started really reading that, I didn't realize there were so many, and then halfway I was like, this, I, I regret this. There's also a Franchise, but the only one I can see is Franchise Starter, and I'm not sure if there's more to Franchise yet, but uh, maybe they'll add more, or maybe you have to unlock them as you go along. Now, before I even jump into the missions, because for the most part, they're pretty self-explanatory, like Starter Missions. Uh, I, you know, the, you have the inside edge. View the daily matchup rating screen to complete this mission. These starter missions are pretty easy. I probably should, probably should have them all done. Uh, but yeah, but also things like collecting cards. I, I'm going to say this. Please finish Conquest first. Please, it, I, I know it's boring, but beat Conquest before you do anything else. So you are getting closer and closer to collecting as many cards as possible in the game. But let's just talk about programs really quickly because I know that's what everybody wants to know. How do I get 99 Ken Griffey Jr.? If you go into the uh, Diamond program, it's also accessible through the Missions tab. Uh, as you heard me read it out, it's also here, the Diamond program. Here you see all the missions that you need to complete to uh, get Ken Griffey Jr. So let's go into the actual program screen. We have Diamond Program. And as you collect more and more percentage uh, in the Diamond Program, you start to unlock things at 10%. Uh, I don't know what that is. At 20%, you get 2400 XP, uh, 240 stubs. And the further you go, the more stuff you unlock until you get 100% of this program you get ken griffey jr 99 overall uh 250,000 xp 1250 stubs and 250 tickets only 250 tickets for all that grind uh, i think that could be up a little bit more there i don't know why but i thought there were player cards here like i know 99 um jackie robinson was here and a couple other 99s and a 93 for some reason i i can't see the card oh well not a big deal anyways there are missions that you need to complete they each have a different percentage based on the difficulty of it and how long it's going to take you to complete. It is going to take you a little while, but once you do complete it, uh, yeah, by the way, I don't know if you've seen some other people who have uh, done this video because I, I have friend and um, I did the math. It, it adds up to 100%. You have to complete them all to get 100%. It's okay. I still love you, man, but it equals 100%. So anyways, you need to complete these missions. Uh, 1989 Rookie Junior Stats, the kid debut, and it tells you right there what exactly that is. 1989 Match the stats from Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie season using only rookie series players during Diamond Dynasty games. Now, if you go ahead and click that, it will go ahead and take you back to the missions... Uh, well, to the Diamond Program within missions, not within programs, and it'll show you exactly what that is. Uh, so for, for 1989 Rookie Junior stats, match the stats from Ken Griffey Jr.'s 99 rookie season using only rookie series players during Diamond Dynasty games. Uh, 455 at bats, 61 runs, 81 singles, 23 doubles, 14 home runs, 61 RBIs. 16 stolen bases with rookie series players, which is that nice green R. If you have that R on the player and they come and they do, and they get in that, they, they take in that bat, it goes up one during Diamond Dynasty games. They score a run, it goes up one during Diamond Dynasty games. And until you finish all these, that will then complete this one uh, mission in this program, uh, which will be 15%. The kids debut, tally one double, one run, and one walk. In the same play versus CPU with game with rookie legend Ken Griffey Jr. And another one of the doubles, October 8th. I'm not actually, that's the only one I've completed so far. Uh, the doubles uh, combined to tally one double and one run 
with any Edgar Martinez and Ken Griffey Jr. items in one Diamond Dynasty game, and it ends up giving you uh, one of the missions, and I'll go ahead and redeem that. Servers are moving a lot faster than they were yesterday, I'll say that much, because yesterday that, that would have taken me quite some time. And I have completed this one mission out of, how many is it? And I am a little bit closer towards Ken Griffey Jr. 100%. I don't, I don't even know what that percentage was, but um, it was 1%. So I'm at 1% and you can see the progress. Now I see it on the bottom right corner. I'm at 1% out of 100%. Once I complete the rest of these missions, I will have 99 overall Ken Griffey Jr. And as you progress, there are other rewards you unlock. There's a reward you unlock at 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, etc., etc. Until you get to 100%, then you will unlock every, all the rewards, including 99 overall Ken Griffey Jr. Okay, now I see. I apologize. The rewards I was thinking about was the Dynasty Program. Now, this tracks your progress for other missions as well. Uh, and the more you go along in the dynasty program, it's pretty much the same exact thing just with different missions uh, At 15% you unlock Lou Brock amazing card Vita Blue at 30% You got a Cal Ripken at 50% Bob Feller at 60 Miguel Cabrera flashback 2013 or hardware series at 70 and this is how you unlock Jackie Robinson at 90% of this mission or this program at 100% I don't know what you get there is a question mark so here are the missions uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and click it so I can it takes me back my career complete all my career missions in the dynasty tier collect all 30 teams collect 30 team epics win 100 battle royale games and this entire list again you can find this list uh, and track your progress by going into programs and going into Dynasty Program, and once you're on this screen, you can click R1 to see where you stand on the mission, or you can be on this screen and click X, or actually on this screen and click X, and it'll take you to the missions. Uh, again, I'll show you again. That is also, you can find it just by clicking Missions, Diamond Dynasty, and finding the... I lied. Did I lie? My career. My, oh my god, this is what you have to complete. All right. So, when, I apologize. Once you get here, there is the Dynasty program. You got to complete everything in my career, which is 17. 17, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? I may have miscounted. Uh, but you got to complete everything in my career. And once you complete everything in my career, you will go back to the, not the Archer program, the Dynasty program. And you should have 17 out of 17. Collect all 30 teams. Uh, should be in the collect. Which is probably this way in the opposite direction. In the collect. Once you collect all 30 teams, you unlock that one. And you unlock percentage and get closer and closer to Lou Brock, uh, Vita Blue, Miguel Cabrera, Jackie Robinson, Cal Ripken. And once you collect, do 100% of what is in uh, the Dynasty program. All of these that are... The, uh, the rest of these over here pretty much once you collect all of those once you finish all those and have unlocked them Then you would have unlocked hundred percent or ninety percent and gotten uh, Jackie Robinson hundred percent will get you the mystery program not sure what that is yet But there looks to be a lot a lot of missions to complete this and a lot of team epic So basically again, you need to play conquest. You got to finish conquest. You need to play battle royale you need to play Diamond Dynasty head-to-head. -head. Basically, you're getting rewarded for playing the game more, which is exactly what we all want. Also, a part of this, you, you, you'll you see if you look through this, uh, you need to collect all the My Career again, collect all the team, uh, 30 team epics, 100 Battle Royale wins, 100 event wins, 100 ranked season games. So this is going to take you a while. Complete the command mission in the con uh, Conquest category. Conquer every hexagon on the conquest map. Complete the diamond program. Complete the rookie archer, rookie program, breakout programs, impact veteran, all-star legend, and then mystery postseason hardware as well and more mystery. So you will also have to go into the archer program, look at everything in the archer program, finish all of these, go into the team epics, finish every single one of these. It's, uh, some of these are easy, some of these are hard, some of these are just going to take you a long time to complete player epics as well 
which at the moment I have discovered none, but I do believe I have to uh, beat the conquest and feed the team and completely finish it to unlock the player epics. The only player spotlight I have at the moment is Jorge Posada because I did uh, collect or pack rookie Jorge Posada. So I would need to deadline one game tally three hits with Jorge Posada. And I would get stubs, tickets, and XP. I'm honestly not 100% sure if that means you are going to get the flashback Jorge Posada because I did believe he was a conquest reward. But I could be mistaken. Once I have more information and I complete this mission, I will update you guys and let you guys know. So yeah guys, just all you guys want to do is make sure you guys go into these missions, go through my career, start completing stuff, look at things that you have done. Once you complete them, click the unlock icon, unlock it and see your progress. The more stuff, the more you play, the more you're going to get rewarded. The better you play, the faster you'll get rewarded. You go into ranked season as well. I've yet to play a ranked game and once you complete these things, these missions that is only there for a limited time, I believe. Oh, it unlocks in two days because this is for the month of April. Tally 20 wins with left-handed starters during ranked season games in April. So you're going to want to mix in left-handed pitchers into your rotation just as much. So it's forcing you to have a diverse lineup, things that you wouldn't have done in 16. Now there is a reason to do it because you're unlocking all these things. So you can get the 99 Griffey, get the 99 Jackie Robinson, and complete the game. Battle Royale is no different. Same thing here. Unlocks in two days and 12 hours. Which is when April begins. Tally 40 starting pitcher wins during Battle Royale games in April. It means you're going to have to play a lot of Battle Royales. Gonna have to, there's going to be at least two runs you're going to have to do if you have uh, all your starting pitcher win and go 20-0 twice for you to do this. Uh, also, you're going to go into events, win 50 events games. There's just so much to do. But again, guys, the, the, the thing I'm going to say it again. Make sure you go into Conquest and finish conquest first that should be your main priority uh that that's just me saying i know it's boring but if the sooner you beat conquest the sooner you can start collecting cards and then start getting towards the feet and everything else and you can end up beating the game there's also missions for playing against the cpu there's missions versus playing friendly so now you have a reason to play against your friends and i, I guess boost here uh I, i'm not i'm not an advocate for boosting uh i don't like boosting but that kind of you know this is intended so that you can have fun with your friends but i'm i'm well aware that this is going to bring a lot of boosting come on guys let's play fair but anyways guys that's going to be it for these missions if you guys have any more questions on how these missions worked let me know and i'll try to explain it i did the best i could honestly i'm literally learning with you guys just looking through this and trying to figure out what i can uh and when i can um at the moment i don't know all the cards like the rookie cards if they have missions my, what I'm personally doing myself is I'm holding on to everything I keep. I would like to collect as many cards as possible this year because I want to do a lot of squad builders, things like that, towards the end of the year. Uh, so with that, anytime I get a new card, I'm not instantly selling them unless it's live series because those are easier to find uh, than, than flat than not all flashbacks, but then some flashbacks, and towards the end of the year, they, they start to like disappear from packs, so I'm holding on to every card, and I'm not going to be selling stuff, I'm only selling duplicate cards, uh, so that if they do have missions, I can complete them, and hopefully turn them into prime, or you know, breakout, or hardware, or veteran, whatever, whatever card that they have, and uh, and once I learn a little bit more about the epics, I can fill you guys in with that. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And peace.